Most materials in 3D are created the same way. You start with a diffuse shader, give it a texture, and then add gloss. This sort of material is called dielectric. And while probably 90% of all materials in the world are created this way, the other 10% is metal, which is different. Now metal is unique because it doesn't refract any light, meaning that there's actually no diffuse because true metal is 100% gloss. Now, if you've tried it, you'll also probably know that the bog standard gloss shader isn't very interesting. So the secret to creating metal that looks realistic and interesting is with the bump and roughness channels. Because if you take a gloss shader and apply a scratched bump map to it and a smudged roughness map, you've suddenly got a very interesting realistic metal. The problem is that these textures are pretty hard to find, as most texture sites still offer diffuse maps even for metal, which while it was suitable for the specular workflow, isn't appropriate now that we've moved to physically based rendering. So we created some proper metal textures so that you can easily render materials like brushed metal, radial sanding, copper, machine lining and more plus a collection of hybrid metals for when you need metal and dielectric, like with metal and paint, corrosion, rust, oxidization, repolish rust, and more. And if you're not sure how to use them in your rendering engine, we've linked to some tutorials in the description to help you get started. There's 24 new metal materials available right now on polygon.com. The library is always growing, so join us to get access to these materials and future releases like them.